According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, folks who begin tanning when they are younger than 35 have a 59% higher risk of getting melanoma, the deadliest type of skin cancer. Here to talk about these staggering statistics and a trend that is not a good one is Dr. Angela Sanchez with the Loveless Medical Group. Good morning, Dr. Sanchez. Morning. Thanks for coming in. It is a pleasure. Thank you for coming in. It's an important issue. But I think I got a little sunburn on my neck last week from being out biking. I put sunblock on my face, not on my neck. And obviously, right now, it is sunny enough that you can get a sunburn right here in New Mexico, even right? It's, even when it's cloud covered, you can still get a sunburn, so it's important to pay attention. Okay, the other thing I do want to talk about, we're going to talk about products and ways to prevent it when you're out in the sun, but the issue, a lot of people are going on spring break, and they think, oh, I need to get a base tan before I go out into the sun, and I'm going to go get that in a tanning bed. Right. The, uh, True. Is there, is there any truth to that at all? There's no such thing as a healthy tan, regardless of how you acquire it. Uh, a tan is actually the skin's response to cellular damage from UV light. So are you saying the more tan you are, the more damage you have, basically? The more damage you have. So a baseline tan is just more exposure overall. Um, it's important to recognize that for people who do not get a sunburn, they're mm. still having cellular damage underneath. So even people with a darker complexion who don't tend to get in trouble with the sun, they can still um, have trouble. Okay. Uh, down the line with either premature aging from the sun or um, skin cancer. Okay, so let's talk about what happens if you don't protect your skin from the sun on the lesser end of things, you just start to wrinkle and get leathery skin a whole exactly. lot earlier in your exactly. life, right? Um, so premature aging is, is mm -hmm. the number one problem that we see um, in my clinic, especially um, with people who get a lot of exposure to the sun. And then, of course, there's skin cancer. Um, yeah. There's several different types of skin mm -hmm. cancer. Uh, basal cell carcinoma is the most common. It's the, the most commonly diagnosed cancer overall in the U.S. And it's pretty easily treatable. My dad just had some of that uh, late last year. And it's very common. I bet most of us can name somebody who's had um, mm -hmm. treatment with skin cancers, but sometimes these surgeries can be disfiguring. You'll see yeah. people who've lost an ear or the tip of their oh nose to these cancers. And, and then, then, of course, there's... Yeah, like melanoma. Melanoma. Which can be very deadly. Every 56 minutes, or every 56 minutes in this country, someone dies of melanoma. Every um, 56 minutes? Every 56 minutes. It's a someone very common cancer. Wow. Okay. And uh, the thing about this skin cancer, it is so easily preventable. Let's talk about the ways to do it. The first, obviously, just wear sunblock if you're going to be outside, because we like to get outside. We're in New Mexico. We're an outdoor kind of people here. We want to be outside mountain biking, hiking, skiing. Just wear some of these, right? We don't want people to be afraid of the sun. We just want you to have a healthy respect for it. Send your kids outside. Um, don't go outside between the hours of 10 and 2 when the sun's rays are at their height. Um, try to seek shade whenever possible. Um, invest in a long sleeve piece of clothing, especially for your children, um, and a wide brimmed hat, a pair of sunglasses, and then sunscreen. Uh, well, sun, I'm glad you said sunglasses. Protect your eyes, yeah. protect the wrinkles around your eyes. You, you talk about the long sleeves. I've mm -hmm. seen some clothing that has, it says it has an SPF built into it. This Does one's it a 50. Matter? So, yeah. Okay, so it really does make a difference between just a regular old cotton t-shirt and, say, some of the sports gear that they have out there. Especially if you're um, on the beach or in the New Mexico sun, even, um, okay. because the sun's rays can be through that. Okay, and then I've seen some washes that you can get, that you can wash your clothes in a certain kind of uh, wash, and it adds an SPF. Is that legit? Does it work? I, I don't know. Um, I haven't really read the science behind the washes versus the clothing that has okay. it embedded, but the bottom line is if you cover up, you're better off. You're better off. And then, uh, real quick, I want to talk about... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. SPF. Uh, there's numbers they go anywhere from, I've seen something like one or two, which I wonder what the heck is that even, <laughs> why get SPF if it's one or two, up to 100, 150 plus. Right. Is there a number we should be aiming for? Is more better? Aim for 30. Anything over 30 probably doesn't offer you that much more protect okay. protection from the sun. And SPF over 30 tends to be more expensive. So gotcha. you can be frugal and still be safe. So 30 is um, really all you need. 30 is the best, and I can tell you these products came out of my shelf. The cheapest one is the one with the best protection, and that's the one that has um, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, okay. which are two ingredients you want to look for on the back of the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, very inexpensive and easy to use. One thing that I want to mention is the American Academy of Dermat Dermatology recommends an ounce of sunscreen every four to six hours that you're out in the sun. So the bottle in the middle here is uh -huh. a three-ounce bottle. Um, great to put in your carry-on, but it's only only three ounces, so you can expect that if you're out at the beach, you're going to use that entire bottle in, in one day. All right, so you're really saying just lather this stuff on reapply, reapply. more often. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dr. Andreas?
Angela Sanchez. Angela, <laughs> Angela, I apologize. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kind of lost this morning. Dr. <laughs> Angela Sanchez. Wow, brain Thanks. failure. Thank you so much for coming in. I apologize. No trouble. Good advice on that. Uh, for more information, go to casa.com, click the Casa blog. I really am sorry.